Use code SPIKEFEEDERS for 5% off at facetofacegames.com. You can shop face-to-face games in US dollars, Canadian dollars, or even euros, and they'll ship just about everywhere. That's code SPIKEFEEDERS at checkout at facetofacegames.com to help support the show. What is up, Spikes? Alex, Jim, Aaron, Elliot. Spike Feeders World Headquarters, playing some CEDH today. <gasps> yeah, we haven't done that in a little while. We've got some spicy ones for you today. Uh, you know, when Aaron comes along, it's always, you know, bring the, the picante. <laughs> monocolor picante. <laughs> yeah, monocolor, you know, that's the theme of the day or, or something, but not really. Oh, uh, th- this side of the table has a theme, that side of the table has a theme. I'll yeah. let you figure it out on the way. <laughs> I'm playing Orvar, the all form. Uh, really excited about this deck. Uh, it's a mono blue deck. Uh, my changeling commander has some really busted text on him. Basically, when I target something I own, yep, with, <laughs> I was like, can I target other, anyway, uh, I'm going to make copies of it. Uh, and that's pretty good in a lot of ways with a lot of the things in the deck, uh, coveted jewel, mystic sanctuary. Um, lots of loopy dupes that I'm gonna try to execute. Ask me how I feel about Coveted Jewel. I'm well when I play it, maybe. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name's Alex, and today I'm gonna be playing Haldan, Avid Arcanist, but much more importantly, Paco, Arcane Retriever. He's a good boy. He goes and fetches and puts fetch counters on everybody's cards, and he gets bigger when he fetches things, because after all, good boys deserve treats. <laughs> and he's here to murder. So much murder. <laughs> How are you today, Jim? I'm feeling murdered. Yeah, good. I, I, yeah. You're about no, to I'm be. playing Brown and Shabraz. Uh, this is a Jeskai deck. Uh, it runs lots of wheels and uses Brown to hurt people. Um, it's got some loops. Um, if you put Curiosity on Brown, uh, it just kills everybody until they're dead. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that's the theme for this half of the table. It's killing people. Killing people, killing people well, I thought I, I thought it was three colored partners, and then no, it's it's murdering people. Three colored partners with one beater and one support card. Yeah. With, yeah. 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 Anyway, Aaron, what are you play uh, I am playing Magna Brazen Outlaw. Monocolor. Uh, monocolor. Monocolor over here. Uh, pretty standard, uh, you know, dwarf claw combo. To try to use Magna to fetch out said uh, Clock of Omens. That's the card. Mm-hmm. And then generate some sort of uh, infinite that hopefully kills that side of the table first and then alien. Yeah. But <laughs> because we're friends, but I do <laughs> yeah. still have to die. It yeah, sounds like it's about yeah. to turn into a two headed giant <laughs> game. Well, maybe. maybe. <laughs> well, you never know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and with that, I run won the die roll, um, direct opposite from Jim. Maybe that has something to do with the, the weather pressure today or something, wind pressure, altitude. I'm going to draw a card for my turn. I'm going to play a basic island and an expedition map. Ooh, fancy. Bass. All righty, we're going to untap up, keep Andra. We'll play a Verdant Catacombs as our land for turn. Cracking it, going to 39. Off our Verdant Catacombs, we'll grab this Taiga, and we'll tap the Taiga to play a Fiendhorn Elves. Hmm. And we'll pass turn. Okay, I'll draw a card. I'm going to play an Island and pass. Uh, I will draw... Oh, maybe change things up with that. Ooh. I'm going to play a Mountain. Mm-hmm. I'm going to cast Right of Flame. Oh my, Ooh. he's going off. I have... No Strong other Rite of Flames in my graveyard. Mm-hmm. Oh, that will only add two red mana and mana pool. I will cast Magda Brazenola. Okay, that's pretty good. Mm-hmm. I don't care who you are. Yeah, uh, that's math. There's the best little turn. Go that's ahead. It. Just the little turn? Yeah, a little bit. What about the big turn? No, oh. you, don't get, you don't get those. Dang, draw. You are a liar. I do get a big turn because the card that I drew for turn was Jeweled Lotus. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll play a basic land for my turn, and then mm-hmm. I'd like to sacrifice this Jewel Lotus for blue and cast my commander as well, Orvar, uh, the all form. Mm-hmm. You know, Rite of Flame is pretty much Jewel Lotus in my deck. <laughs> sure. Hey, you <laughs> can believe right. that as much as you'd like, friend. <laughs> I'm going to pass. All right. We're going to untap. We're going to upkeep. We're going to draw. card give me an extra man. I wouldn't do anything with it. It's just a waste. Yeah, true. I still play. Uh, no, wastes uh, only generate colored mana. <laughs> oh, colorless mana, sorry. Uh, we will play a Misty Rainforest. Mm-hmm. We will sacrifice a Misty Rainforest going to 38. Off the Misty Rainforest, we'll find this Volcanic Island. Wow, what's it like to have a perfect mana base? It's fantastic, Elliot. Like, really just super choice. High quality, even. Uh, We're going to go 1-2 for Arcane Signet. 
It's a good one. We're going to tap one for Elvish Mystic. And because fundamentally this game is about making enemies, Stock out two. I'm going to attack Jim for one. Oh, wow. I'll take one. Yeah. 39. Pass turn. Drop turn. I'm going to play Marsh Flats and crack it, going to 38. Getting this Tundra off the Marsh Flats, and I'm going to cast an Azorius Signet and pass the turn. Wow, everybody's ramping. Oh, yeah. What? Why the flame? You play an Ancient Tomb? Mm hmm. Ramping. I'm going to play a Dwarven Grunt. <laughs> Don't mind. That's that a one more with Mountain Walk, but oh, it sure do be a dwarf. Pay two life. And uh, Convoke the Stoke the Flames, targeting Orvar. Ooh, four damage. Treasure. Yeah, make some treasures. Treasures. What the heck? Well, yeah, I am distraught. You ever play Stoke the Flames? <laughs> In standard, a <laughs> hundred years ago, yeah. Uh, my Orvar dies. It's a six-mana Orvar now. Sure oh, is. That's good. Pass the turn. I'm not getting punished for tapping out. Yeah, <laughs> never <laughs> recasting this. was like representing a win pretty aggressively. <laughs> uh, draw for turn. I'll walk. Well. You can deal with the pack over something. Mm. I can do that. Uh, third basic island. Ristic study. Why? <laughs> I'm a mono blue deck, Alex. Uh, fine. Pass the turn. Hey man, I'm not even that upset about it. It's okay. Well, it would have been good a while ago. It's like less good now. Could have made copies of it. Uh, we're going to make Gaia's Cradle. That'd be concerning. That's a good one. One, two, three, four. One red. One red. Paco. Yep. Pass wolf, wolf. Uh, wolf. Are you paying wolf. one? Nah, get out of here. Draw a card. Any effects? Nope. No effects. Okay. Uh, combat. Mm -hmm. We're going to swing at Aaron. Does it have Mount Wolf? It does not, but it does have haste. But not Mount Wolf. But not Mount <laughs> right, That's good. What we do need you to do is grab the top card of your library, flip them over. I got a land. I have a... Those are four. four. Oh, mirror four. of the Four Bears. Mirror. You can have that I, one, I prefer bud. Mirror of the Three Bears. Oh. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Well, You're doing Exile Pile things again. <laughs> I am doing Exile Pile things. What are you going to do about it? Uh, so that's seven at Aaron. Face for 33, seven Paco. Record show it doesn't have Mount Wolf. It does not have Mountain Walk. You are correct in that assertion. I will, however, let you pass. Okay, I'll untap. He will let you pass. Sure, okay. uh, I'm going to play a Command Tower as my land for turn. Sick. And I'm going to cast a Dockside Extortionist. I think the count's at uh, five right now. Unless Aaron, on Aaron's unless Aaron choices. Not. I am paying the one, by the way. Ooh. He's crazy. Sorry, <laughs> two one, right? Yeah, only three total if you sack him. Which seems good for everybody. Except you, maybe. It's probably not good for him. But he's gonna make two more on his turn. Yeah, that's probably not that. Ooh, red, both. red. Sure. Okay. Trying to be a responsible gamer in 2022, you know. I mean I only have got I've only got one thing. No I have two effects. and three treasures. Off the dockside ATB, I will make three treasures. It's good three treasures. Uh, then I'm just going to pass. It's a good pass. Not super jacked about that, but... I like it. Here we are. Oh, that card's pretty not bad. I want to play a Mutavolts. That's a dwarf. That is a dwarf. <laughs> um, what isn't a dwarf these days? Great question. I want to pay two here. Uh, I also paid two previously. I think we had it. We did not. Yeah, 29. So you're at 29? Yes. I will... Uh, Side note to yeah. editor Alex. He should have lost two at some point. I'll figure mm -hmm. it out. Mm -hmm. um, I guess if I animate this, can I, I can add a mana. That's awkward. True. <clears throat> mm. Red. And I guess I'll pay the one for Imperial Recruiter. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. That is a good one. I have. Order. Yeah, I have no effects. Oh, that sounds pretty good to me. Pass effects. Pass effects. You got it. I'm gonna find a universal automat or automaton mm -hmm. uh, off my Imperial recruiter. Very important. That's a door. It's actually pronounced automaton. 
I find my universal automaton. Um, I'm going to move to combat, cool. if that's okay. Yeah. I'm going to shove this Magda into Elliot, and uh, my creature with Mountain Walk is going to go <sighs> visit Alex for Ooh, two. Ooh, Mountain Walk, Alex. Yeah, that's great. Does, yeah. Have, does have Mountain Walk. 36 for me. Uh, 38 for me. And I will generate two treasures. Mm -hmm. Show it up. Think if I want to do anything else with these. Well, like what? Cast a universal automaton or something? <clears throat> well, maybe. But I'm actually not going to this turn. I will pass. Sounds good. Uh, I will untap. I will draw. I will play a basic island. Mm -hmm. uh, I will play a soul ring. Ooh. Shiny. Yeah, that one's good. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Cringe. Very. Um, pass the turn. <laughs> Unexpected. Very. We're going to play Waterlogged Grove as our land for turn. I'm going to move to attacks. Mm -hmm. Since Aaron's got a blocker, it's Elliot's turn. Woof, woof. I'm Trigger. not dying to this thing, right? No, not yet. All right, please don't hit clock of wounds. <coughs> oh, Archmage. So mine's only a creature. two. So you get two. Yeah. Only, oh, two. only two. Big pog. I'm taking nine. I'd be ashamed. Uh, yeah, pieces. nine. Go to 29, nine Paco damage. Yikes. 29 by nine. Got him, got him, got him. Uh, speaking of got him, we're going to overpay just slightly for Haldan. Hmm. Avid Arcanist. Paying the one? Yes. Um, actually, I will use the guy's created mana, mana to pay. Because I generated oh, yeah, it. Was yeah. over. You did generate too much? Yeah. That's funny, because you said it, and then, yeah. Just forgot about it. Yeah, crazy. I'm pretty stupid as it goes. Anyway, uh, I will pay the one to play Mox Amber. Oh, my Mox Amber. Sad. I don't want to pay the one for it anyway. Pass the turn. Uh, depth. Draw a card. I'm gonna play a mountain as my land for turn. And cast a mana crypt paying the one. Ooh. Everybody being all responsible. Yeah, mm -hmm. sorry. I sack my treasures to the stock side. Yeah, it's actually <laughs> mega cringe. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna tap five and cast Shabraz. No, no, that's Shabraz. Shabraz. Shabraz is a 3 3 flyer. Uh, whenever I draw a card, I put a plus one plus one counter on it and I gain a life. And I can pay an Azorius, uh, one, one Azorius hybrid to uh, give target human flying until end of turn. Uh, are you paying the one? I did. Uh, I haven't, but I will. I did. I haven't, but I will. <laughs> and uh, that's it for me. Mood. Go to my turn. Looks like it. Cool. Let's have my dwarven grunt. New sentence. <laughs> I'm going to play a mountain. That's a good one. I'm going to fire up the old ancient tomb here. Uh, 27. 27. <clears throat> Use one of it to animate Mutavolt. Mm -hmm. Turning it into a dwarf. Oh, that's a combo. He's going to make a treasure. I'm going to add a mana. Uh, maybe don't let me just attack with this thing. No, <laughs> I'll add a mana. I lied. I'm gonna cast trigger trigger make it there. Yep. Uh, cast universal automaton. Another oh, dwarf. Okay. What's uh, universal automaton read? Changeling. Yeah, it's good. That's it. Are you paying <laughs> the one for that? <sighs> yes, I will pay the one for that. You have none floating. No more no floats. Mm -hmm. Uh, what? I uh, ancient tombed okay. one for the mutable. Got it. Yep. Yeah. None automaton left. Be. Yeah. Move to combat. That's a deck. Uh huh. <laughs> Send the Dwarven Grunt at Alex and the Magda at Elliot again. Trigger Magda twice. So he is going to have five treasures, mm -hmm. which means that he gets Clock of Omens and he makes infinite treasures and then gets his whole deck because of the Universal Automaton. Mm hmm. I sorry, I have the triggers in the stack right now, right? Yeah, triggers on the stack. I have no effect. <coughs> I'll take one damage. Twenty six. No, that's thirty five. Thirty five. Yeah. <clears throat> Chain of vapor targeting Magda. Smart. 
Oh. Group. Sack all your lands, bounce my mana crypt from my dog side. True. What's the name? Is cast it again. Also true. Ooh, mm. red elemental. Uh, I'm thinking if I'm going to pay the one here. Don't know if I will. Cards in hand? Three. Four. How oh, many you got, Jim? Uh, I've got four. So I will not pay the one. I will draw a card. Effects to REB. Or is that Pyro? Oh, sorry. Uh, no effects to red elemental blast. I would like to announce Force of Will, pitching sure. into the Royal, <clears throat> paying one with mm -hmm. Elvish Mystic. And mm -hmm. losing a life. And losing a life. Going to 34. Four. Targeting REB. Sure. Okay, so Force of Will. I have no effects of Force of Will. No effects. No effects. Yeah, Force of Will resolves. Force of Will Ch resolves. Chain, uh, chain of Vapor. Chain of Vapor. Chain of Vapor. No effects. Yeah, resolves. Are you sacrificing? Uh, we're going to that right now. Yeah. So it's going to. Oh, get, right. Yeah, it'll get back. Do I want to copy it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I have that option. Right. It's bounced. Right? Yeah, it it'll, I guess yeah. it'll still bounce. I will choose not to copy. No copies. All right. Okay. Uh, Magda bounce two. Resolve Magda triggers. Yep. You get two. Uh, damage. Ooh, no. Uh, I'll go to blocks first. A mountain walk. Mountain walk. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mountain walk. <laughs> Let's go, mountain walk. Well, you can walk. still move to blocks. Man. Yeah, you may. 33. Uh, 32. 33. You have Force of Will. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, 35, 34, 33. Yeah. That's what I have too. Yeah. I have 33 as well. You're at 34 right now. Yep. Oh, yep. the mountain walker is only a one-one. Yeah. yeah. Magda got bounced. Uh, it is smaller. Yeah. So Magda I'll go to 33. Bounce. Yeah. I have no other effects to that. Uh, main phase two. Yep. Mm. Enslaved dwarf. <laughs> wow. At one one dwarfs, maybe. You're paying the oh one my god, paying the one for this is so bad. Actually, I don't want to guess and see. <laughs> oh my god. So, yeah, you know what? I paid for it. Sure. We're committed. We're committed no, at this point. Absolutely. Oh, I'm god. on board with all of that. Go. Uh, end of your turn. No, don't do that. My enslaved dwarf. Uh, three blue and two colorless. Were of invention x equals two. Oh dear. Uh, pass priority. Mm. I am going to attempt to dispel it, paying the one. Effects. No effects. Good dispel, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Untap. Everybody's paying all the ones. It's cringe. <laughs> Draw for turn. Oh, I can sacrifice and save dwarf. There, Target will, black there will never be a black side. creature in this game. Gates first strike. <laughs> Why does it do that? <laughs> Reasons. Reasons. Stuff. Uh, Cabal, I think. I guess it's Torment. There's a lot of black creatures. Yeah. There. Mm. They don't really read a lot of these dwarf cards. That's dead center and red's color by giving black creatures plus one plus two. <laughs> and their first That's strike. Primary. <laughs> yeah. All right. Time to find out what this expedition map gets. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. No, you got it. Off of this expedition map, I'm going to put Command Bacon into my hand mm -hmm. and then play it as my land for the turn. Seems good. Thanks. I'll just pass the turn from there. Okie dokie. We're going to untap, upkeep, and draw. Let me get pack old my man. I think he's back on you, my man. He's got blockers. Does it travel? Uh, no, it doesn't have no. that travel. He plays <laughs> Berserk, though. Oh, human advisor. He plays Berserk, though. Oh, I'm mid Berserk. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play this Scalding Tarn. Yar. Let's see what Halden's got for us. Nothing, my guy. Okay. Um, a lot of cards in this deck aren't actually very good. Yeah. Of... What do you mean? Torment All Star. <laughs> Enslaved Dwarf. Even my important cards are not very good. True. <laughs> Pay three. Mm -hmm. Time Twister. Time Twister, Val. Time Twister. I'll just draw Magna again, right? <laughs> True. <laughs> I'm going to pass priority on Time Twister. I will also pass priority. I guess I have a response. Um, are you paying the one? First things first, I suppose. He is paying the one. It's very respectful. Yeah. 
uh, I would like to cast Twitch <laughs> to tap Paco and draw a card. Ooh. Nice. That's a big time fog. Big time fog is the name of my ska band. <laughs> uh, in response, I'm going to Scalding Tarn. You would. Go to 32. Off of Scalding Tarn, I'll find Tropical Island. Mm -hmm. Off of Tropical Island, I will pay one and one for Ristic Study to cast using Haldan, Flusterstorm, Storm Count 2. Mm. All three copies, targeting Twitch. I didn't know there was a Flusterstorm over there. Countered. Okay. Uh, time Twister. Uh, time time Twister. I've, oh, I guess I have an additional effect. <laughs> The graveyard's getting shuffled it anyway, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna clock spinning. <laughs> I'm going to remove uh, a counter from Paco. <laughs> no further. <laughs> time Twister. I would like to resolve Time Twister. Uh, time Twister gets exiled or does it just go into a yes, graveyard? Yes, time, time Twister goes in its own yeah. graveyard. Got it. I'm putting Magda in the graveyard. Okay. okay. <laughs> Now that we've drawn our hands, I'd like to trigger Shabraz seven times to put seven counters on it. Oh. And I will also gain seven life. Oh, we died. <laughs> oh, no. That puts me to 45. Elliot, you want to draw some cards? I love drawing cards. Mana Crypt, not paying. Draw a card. <laughs> That's the name of them. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> oh. Sorry, buddy. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're going to take one from Waterlog Grove for green. Go to 31. Go ahead and put a Wild Growth on this Gaia's Cradle. Uh, paying the one. Sure, I'll float. Mana Crypt Mana. Floating your colorless. Floating your colors. Adding a red. For Dockside Extortionist, not paying. Draw a card. Count them up. Hang on. Hang it on. Mm. I'm going to sacrifice my treasure for a white. I'm not going to sacrifice my treasures. I have no effects, <clears throat> so I've got two. Uh, five. five. So seven. And I've got uh, two as well. So nine. Nine. Can I please have a treasure token? So we'll make nine treasures off of that. I'll add five green to my mana pool. Or sorry, six green to my mana pool. We'll use two of it to cast Jiraga Tree Speaker. Mm -hmm. Hang the one. Yep. Hang the one. We'll use three of it to cast Bloom Tender. Mm -hmm. Well, he's got mana. And two treasures to cast Gilded Drake. Targeting Shabraz. Uh, well, I mean, you're casting Gilded Drake. Yes, correct. It is not on the battlefield. Maybe he'll take Dwarven Drake. Yeah, I might take Dwarven Drake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd like to exchange control of Gilded Drake with Shabraz. This guy's got it. Gilded Drake. All right. Delicious Sky Shark. Remind me, now I can't attack with this because it has correct. summoning sickness. Yep. Right. Okay. I was fairly certain that was the way that worked, but I did not remember. I will then pay two for personal tutor. Uh-oh. Yeah. Off of personal tutor, I'll grab time warp. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, indeed. Speaking of uh-oh, I'd like to move to attack. Oh. I'll move to attacks. Mm -hmm. Any effects? Unfortunately, remember. no effects. Right, I can't attack with Shabraz this turn, but I will attack with Paco at Elliot. Trigger. Trigger. Mm -hmm. uh, I got an Argent mutation. Four. Could you pass me another die? Yeah. Thank you. So that'll be 12 damage. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I will go to 21 Paco damage and die. Ooh. And so you'll need to clean your stuff up out of here. Uh, it'll be uh, the bad spells. <laughs> <laughs> the blue sleeves. Yeah. The six mana bad spells. There we go. <laughs> Clock spinning at all. <laughs> <laughs> Bright side, at least that is gone. So we can uh, Rhystic study. Mm -hmm. pay five treasures mm -hmm. to cast Time Warp using Haldan. I'm going to respond. Please do. 
I'd like to cast Force of Negation, exiling a Mystical Tutor. That seems reasonable. To and exile fair. Time Warp. Yeah, that seems good. It is exiled. Yep. Yeah. Oh, exile. Yeah. My apologies. That card randomly exiles. Yep. Yeah, that's reason. fun. That's super fun. Uh, speaking of super fun, I believe that is the end of my turn. Okay. I'm going to untap. I will flip for Mana Crypt. Spikes damage. No damage. Uh, still in my upkeep. Still. I'm going to cast Enlightened Tutor. Hmm. Oh, okay. Approved. Good, good. I'm dead. <laughs> Off the Enlightened Tutor, I'm going to get Curiosity on the top of my library. Uh, then I'll move to my dresser. Oh, you gave him this flyer. What is it? No, no, no. <laughs> Drop <that's>... Curiosity. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to play an island as my land for turn. <clears throat> then I would like to cast my commander, Brawlin. Yep. Yeah. No effects. Resolves. Yep. I'd like to cast Curiosity, targeting Brawlin. I have an effect. Mm -hmm. Go down to one treasure. I'm going to try to deflecting swat your Curiosity to my Dwarven Grunt. Mm. Oh. To the Dwarven oh. Grunt. Though. <laughs> That's how you feel. <laughs> That's uh, wow. success. That's crazy. Wow. <laughs> is, um, is that how deflecting swat works? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. God. that's mm -hmm. sick. Yeah, cards, real that's good. That's super cool. Um, so funny. N another new sentence unlocked. <laughs> that's funny. I yeah. would like to deflecting swat the curiosity uh, to the door and Then I'm gonna cast Talisman of Progress. Yeah, nice. And if that resolves, I will pass the turn. I heard that just recently got reprinted. It did. Yeah, some jerk told Wars me that. On the street. All right, on tap. Draw. Magda from the top rope. That's good. Cavern of Souls. Yep. Um, named Dwarf. That seems bad. Uh, checks out. She named Dragon. Oh. Uh, cast Dockside Extortionist. Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Four for me. Three for me. Like seven? Seven. Seven. That's bad. Yep. Um, I'd like to point out that as the only non-red deck at the table, I'm feeling pretty targeted by, <laughs> by all the docs. Literally everybody else casting the best card in CDH. Oh, like uh, actually, uh, I have it and Phantasmal Image. I yeah. think. Sick. <laughs> I'm gonna lose two off Agent Tomb again. Okay. Oh, we got him on the ropes. Twenty-five. I'm gonna try to cast Magda Brazen Outlaw. I have no effects. You got it. Okay. Um. So I get to sack five of these. Uh, to go Tutor. find a artifact or dragon. So I find Clock of Omens okay. off of my Magda ability. Um, so then with Clock of Omens, Magda, and this Universal Automaton, I will tap these two to untap my Universal Automaton. When I do this, it generates one untapped treasure token. Uh, let's go to the four. And then I can tap the treasure token that I make off of it and the Universal Automaton to then untap the automaton, which will generate infinite tap treasure tokens. Mm -hmm. Pick a um, number. Uh, 200,000? I don't know. I'm without worried about Jim choose a number. <laughs> no, he just likes to ask. <laughs> All right. For 2,000. You turn it off by me. Only 2,000? For now. Interesting. For now, can make it... You sure you don't want more? He wants 2,000. 2,000, wants 2000, 2000 but the end state is the automaton yeah. untapped? Or... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Sure. So two thousand two thousand tapped treasures. I will sack five more. I have one thousand ninety five. I don't know what is gonna happen here. But I'm gonna find this Trinosphere. I, I have to have Jim's got me worried with the choose a number. <laughs> I don't know why you're worried. Let's go. I, I do sound like that. <laughs> uh, Academy manufacturer, so they have infinite untapped ones. Then eventually Cloudstone Curio and Bagarden Hellkites. Yeah, that's pretty good. This is the coolest deck I've ever seen. <laughs> so can you just for the for the benefit because I know what you're doing, yeah, but sure. just for the benefit of everybody else in the room. <laughs> uh, so when Burgard and Hulkay comes into play, I have to bounce a uh, non artifact or whatever non artifact uh, you turn another permanent you control that shares a permanent type. Uh, I will bounce the dwarven grunt. Yeah. Oh, I got my curiosity. The robins. And because I've infinite untapped treasures from the Academy Factory, even though this costs three every time. I will cast Dwarven Grunt, then return the Bogarden Hellkite, cast Bogarden Hellkite, do this, then deal infinite damage with Bogarden Hellkite. Yeah, Not so Bogarden Hellkite. We have 2,000. Uh... <laughs> I will make it. 
<laughs> More treasure tokens. I'll concede. Yeah, you got it. You got it. You got it. Dead. Cheers. Uh, wow. Oh my god. But Garden Hellkite. I thought there was like an opening there where I could just like sneak in. Yeah. I, had, I had the careful study and a wheel in my hand. Oh, wow. my last two cards in wow. hand. Wow. But uh, I had to use my interaction. I was yeah. hoping. So like I saw the whole you know personal tutor time warp line going on. I was hoping Alex would think Aaron was a bigger threat than me and attack him. Mm. Because I had a uh, coveted jewel nice. uh, and a time uh, temporal manipulation of my own. So I was going to like have a bunch of mana be untapped with the command beacon with the Orvar in my hand and like super set up on wow. my turn. But Coveted jewel with temporal manipulation is basically just time walk plus ancestral recall. <laughs> <laughs> it's dirt nasty. That is very nasty. Uh, this might be the hardest I've seen Paco pop off. Yeah, you killed real, me yeah. in two shots. Uh, it may have just been over. If um, if I hadn't countered the time warp, honestly, if you hadn't countered the time warp, I don't know that I would have won, but I would have been able to put Aaron back some resources. I would have the block with my my guys, yeah, which would have been huge. Yeah, um, honestly, I think Halden is a little <clears throat> undersold in this deck for how much value you can get, especially at the CD. Oh, so, oh yeah, no, 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 it it's like it's there for a reason. Yeah, the cards sure. you hit are like even if you just hit mana rocks, it's yeah. so worth it. Like just being able to pull that uh, um, flusterstorm. No, not the flusterstorm. The uh, mox opal. Or Mox the, Amber. Oh, the Mox Amber. Amber. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it was pretty sick. Yeah. But I think your deck went pretty well. I think I just kept putting you on the ropes over and over between countering and uh, forcing the response. I didn't yeah. really have like a, a solid way to win until after the time twister resolved, right. and then I just drew into it. I could have countered. I had two counter spells and a cyclonic rift in my hand when um, when uh, the time twister resolved. But rather than playing those out and like countering the time twister, I'm like, you know what? I'm probably just going to draw into something. Um, yeah. Like I said, three cards in hand, they're all counter spells. I needed to start doing something proactively. Um, and yeah, I just happened to draw into Mystical Tutor, a counter spell, Enlightened Tutor, um, per, uh, uh, Careful Study. Yeah. And I'm like, I have plenty of mana for it. Um, yeah. But, good stuff. but I got God. Got God. Yeah, my Twister Hand was uh, Cavern uh, Deflecting Swat, uh, five of the lands, uh, which didn't seem very good at the time, but because I had the four treasures left over, because I didn't sacrifice them. Uh, the fact is, Walk came in super clutch. Yeah, yeah. You know, oh, gave Dwarven so Grunt the treatment he really deserved. It's just always good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and yeah, the Cavern of Souls made it like I, I was pretty confident if I somehow didn't lose over here that I had a decent chance. And then I drew the Dock Side for the turn, Oof. so it just made it easier. I didn't have yeah, to the draws were combat. were hot this game. Hey, <clears throat> you, I like made some joke about not having a big turn or something, yeah. and then top decked Jewel Lotus on turn two. Yeah. Like, holy moly. Yeah, yeah you really pulled yeah. out the bling, huh? <laughs> yeah. The dock side makes it so I don't have to try to move the combat with Magda. Like, because mm -hmm. it's uncounterable, just, it will stick. And then because I have the existing treasures, I can just do it all in mm -hmm. response. So. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. if you want to find some existing treasures, you can head over to face2facegames.com. You can fill up your cart with everything from singles to precons to even sleeves. You can't and keep getting it. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end of that shopping spree, why don't you go ahead and put on the code Spike Feeders? That's right, Spike Feeders at checkout to save five percent on your whole order. And if you want to support the show more directly, you can go over to Patreon.com/slash The Spike Feeders. Over there, you can pay as little as one U.S. dollar a month to get all sorts of benefits. And if you want to spend a little bit more, we usually are going to send you out some delicious swag. Everything from play mats to dice to coins. It's all there. If you want some of our cool stuff, all you got to do is pay us some of your cool cash. In the meantime, folks, I want to say thanks so much for watching this CEDH game, and we will catch you next time. Quick shout out to all of our patrons. We appreciate all your support, but especially the folks on this list. We always want to make what's best for you folks, and we're really proud of where we've gotten to. And it's especially thanks to our patrons that we're able to afford to do that. Thanks again. Hey, thank you for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you close the window, or you can click on this link to check out our other great videos.